Could a solid block of titanium stop a bullet? That is what we're gonna be testing today. We have a extremely heavy, I mean, this thing's gotta be like 25 pounds. It's extremely durable. We got this from a sketchy website and it's finally arrived and it is very hard. And we are going to shoot it with everything all the way up to a 50 cal and see what it can stop. I'm really excited about this one. We're gonna put the titanium in front of Fred as if it were a bulletproof shield and we will see if you were standing behind it, if you would survive. We'll see if Fred can survive the video with a solid block of titanium in front of him. Welcome to E-Life. My name is Parker. Here we shoot anything and everything with guns and we see what happens. Titanium is a metal. It's on the periodic table and Newton's law states that to, be, to make it to the periodic table, you have to be extreme, an extremely hard metal which is actually why they call it titanium because it's the molecules are so tight they're just like mm, so tight anium what a lot of people don't know that newton's law yeah i thought he was like a physicist or something no he's he specialized in metals he made cookies too he made cookies yeah big newtons You're yeah. spreading misinformation look it up that's gravity also Isaac Newton. Okay, we are set up about 20 yards down range. We have Fred set up on our table. We have the solid block of titanium in front of him. He's ready to go. He's feeling cocky. This is gonna be a very difficult target to penetrate. We're starting off small with our round of 22, shooting it with this little Ruger Mark IV. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. 22 against our titanium. Heard a ding. I do see a mark. I'm actually even surprised that I see a mark hit right here i do see like a microscopic little scratch but uh did not do much fred is fine we got a long way to go let's move up all right 22 did not make a dent we're moving up to our 45 acp much fatter bullet not traveling super fast but it's a big boy shooting it out of our 1911 let's see what happens here we go it's like a satisfying training bullets it's a satisfying ding i actually saw the titanium move it like came this way, so you can see it hit right here, uh, right next to where that 22 hit. Kind of like took off a tiny little bit of that top layer, but did not put a dent into it. But it did surprisingly shift it back and then check out this bullet hit right here. And then it just goes, just shot outwards and it's all stuck in the table right here. Okay, 22 and 45 ACP have put little scratches on it. Let's see if our nine mil will fare any different. We got a round of full metal jacket here. We're shooting it out of our Glock 19 and let's see what happens. Here we go, nine mil against titanium, firing. Got such a delay. And I can just hear the peppering of the uh, fragments on our tin roof here. That was like three or four seconds after we shot, so weird. So that bullet is just exploding on impact and just fragmenting up and out and the wind's just taking it all the way back here 20 yards to our tin roof and it's just like raining down it's so weird here's our mark from the nine mil and it does this weird thing zach i don't know if you've ever noticed this where it like piece of that bullet it almost is like splattered onto it you know it's almost like a piece of it it didn't like just entirely splatter out but um anyway it did not penetrate at all i bet we're just as we keep going we're just gonna see this table just slowly start to have a solid line right here from that bullet hitting right here and it's just going whoosh. You know, what is it doing? It's just like going. It's just like pushing. Nine mil didn't do much. Let's move up to the 10 mil. We have a full metal jacket round of 10 mil here. Shooting it with our Smith & Wesson m and shield. Sweet gun. I actually just took down a great white shark on. What? What day is it? On last Saturday when I was in uh, uh, Michigan, Lake Michigan. You said a great white shark? Yeah, I was wakeboarding. Great white just comes out of nowhere. I just see his fin. You were wakeboarding? I, that's what you always carry when you're wakeboarding, just in case. I was under the water, which went down. You didn't go anywhere this weekend. You were here. Okay, what's... All right, let's hit this thing. This is 10 mil against our titanium. Hmm, yeah, this one. That's right here from the 10 mil. Significantly bigger than the nine mil. If anything, it just like added a layer of that bullet to it. Didn't really do much. And Fred, completely fine. There's the back of our titanium. All right, moving up to the big boy. We have a Ruger Red Hawk 44 Magnum. Here is our round. Uh, this is actually a very similar round that I used to get a Grizzly in Alaska. 
Did I ever tell you about that time I took down that? Yeah, we're gonna do this grizzly. again. July 2008 in the parking lot of a Texas roadhouse. I was you heading back to my car. You changed your story. What's that? You changed your story. I had like 12 delicious buttery rolls and the grizzly must've just like smelled the bread. Came right at me. Unloaded 14 rounds at it. The gun only holds seven rounds. I can reload real quick. All right, here we go. 44 Magnum against our titanium. Nailed it. So 44 Magnum hit right here. Uh, didn't make as much of a mark as our 10 mil. Fred's still fine. Nothing in the back. Didn't do much, man. It's just bouncing right off. Stuff's holding up great. It's like borderline anvil level. Parker, relax. Parker, relax. All right, surely this will do something. I'm ready for a crater. I'm ready for something interesting to happen. We're moving up to our big boy. This is the actual big boy. We got our Desert Eagle. We're shooting around a 50 AE. This is some solid American firepower. Let's see if we can put a dent in this thing. Here we go. Desert Eagle against a block of titanium. That is American sounding. Red. Dang, man. Desert Eagle. It's got some juice. Nailed it. All right, you're a little you close. See that? You're a little bit close. Oh. I'm gonna step back a little. Yeah. Just tell me when. All right, action. Now. Yeah, you're good. Action. Nailed it. Okay, that's fine. We're okay. Good. Fred, was Fred being dramatic? What on earth happened to this thing? Wow. Look at that. That's just like stuck on there. It didn't even really penetrate. It's just the amount of force from that Desert Eagle just knocked our block back. Went into Fred's stomach, took his arms off. But I mean, there's no penetration on this. That bullet just nailed our block, came back, the force knocked Fred over. So we may not be getting much penetration so far, but this has like been a good example showing which of our guns have the most stopping power. So you can see the Desert Eagle definitely has the most force of anything that we've shot so far. Desert Eagle knocked our titanium back, but had no penetration. Let's see what the AR does. We're gonna start out with around a 223, see what happens. Here's our 223 against our titanium. Firing. All right, there you go. 223 did give us our first little crater. So it was not much, but it's a little something. All right, so we're now gonna move up to the green tip 556, shoot it out of the same AR, and then we'll be able to directly compare the difference between the 223 and the green tip. All right, here we go. Here's our green tip 556. Red, you just feel the power. Feel it in. So I literally hit the exact same spot and I was not meaning to do that. I was trying to hit it over here so that we could compare. But um, I mean, pretty comparable. Even hitting it in the exact same spot, pretty similar. I mean, we put a little bit bigger divot into it, but uh, titanium's fine. We've made penetrate like a half a centimeter so far. Let's move up. All right, it's been a while, but we are pulling out the 450 Bushmaster. So a few people say that this is actually their favorite gun that we shoot and it is pretty sweet. Here's our round that we're shooting. Uh, and that's in comparison to the green tip 5.56. So you can see just how much more uh, width this has compared to the green tip. It's not gonna be traveling as fast, but it's gonna have some more stopping power. So we'll see what happens. Here we go. Here's our 450 Bushmaster against our titanium. See how it holds up. Ready? Mm -hmm. Firing. Definitely saw some sparks on that one. Knocked our uh, block of titanium back. Seems like it has the most width so far, but it did not penetrate as much as the initial 223 really popped it, but did not really penetrate at all. Let's hit it with the slug, see what that does. I saw some sweet sparks on that last one. I want to be able to see that in a really nice slow-mo slow footage. And we told you guys that if we hit 5 million subscribers, then we would get a really nice slow-mo camera and we are very close to hitting that. So thank you guys, the channel's grown a ton and we're gonna be getting a very nice slow-mo camera very soon once we hit 5 million subscribers. Once we hit 5 million subscribers. 5 million subscribers. All right, we have our 12 gauge pump shotgun here. We're gonna be shooting a slug at our titanium, see what it does. I wanna see how far it's going to knock our block of titanium back, see how much stopping power it has. And before I shoot it though, you guys know the drill. Every time I shoot the 12 gauge, I do a behind the back trick trot, try to get the round in the chamber. I've never gotten it. Maybe today will be the day. You got this. Well, now I definitely don't, cause you're getting in my head. What? No, I'm just saying you got this, you got it. Oh. See? 
Don't get in my head before the trick shot. Here we go. Slug against solid titanium. Good luck, Fred. Firing. That was so satisfying. I think we got a big chunk out of it. Let's go see. Fred just literally fell to... All right, looks like our slug hit right here. Definitely the most surface area from a hit so far. It looks like it did not penetrate as much as the 450 Bushmaster, but it did knock our entire block of titanium back and just smacked Fred. Smacked Fred in the chest. May have uh, broken some abs, but he's still alive. All right, last one before the 50 cal. We have our gold scar here. We are shooting a round of 308. Let's see what kind of penetration this one gets. The most powerful gun that we've shot so far. Let's test it out. All right, here we go. All right, let it fly. Dude, just, just let me shoot it. I was just saying, you're good. Just let me shoot it. All right, sorry. I don't need the commentary. My bad. Let it fly. What does that even mean? like the Liberty Bell. Wow, this is it. It was right here. Look at Fred's arms. Wow, this man is beat up in the arms. It's crazy. The bullet just hits here, shatters, shoots out, and look at this dent in this wood right here. Dude, the 50 is not gonna go through this. Stuff's tough. I think it's gonna be a massive flash, big old flame, but I don't think it's gonna go through. I mean, just based off of what I've seen the 308 do, but only one way to find out. So here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna shoot it with the standard round of 50. If it doesn't go all the way through, I'm gonna hit it with this silver tip 50 cal round and we'll see how it holds up. What are you doing? I'm gonna order some pizza, you want anything? You're ordering pizza now? Yeah, all this shooting's making me hungry. Get some za. What? I gotta fuel up before we shoot the 50. Thanks for calling Little Caesars. Do you want anything? Pizza I, I, I'm delivery. okay, I'm good. To learn more about our privacy policy. Pizza, pizza. Use the Little Caesars app for quick pickup or delivery. You have the Little Caesars app? No oh, way, that might be faster. Our legendary crazy bread and crazy sauce. Oh, they, they're so crazy. Did you want any legendary crazy bread, crazy sauce? No, I'm fine. Sure? It's really crazy. Yeah, can I get a large pepperoni pizza? Can I get some legendary crazy bread too? Can you, is there any way to make that extra crazy? Uh, yeah, I want crazy sauce too. Yeah. Okay, so you're just gonna have to come all the way to the back of the property and you'll see me at the back with a 50 cal. Yeah, just drive all the way to the back of the property. Okay, thanks. Beat the beat the. All right, they're coming. So I gave her zero tip online on the website but that's because I want to tip in cash. So I got 200 bucks here to tip her in cash just to, just for fun to reward her for coming all the way out here. So we'll see what her reaction is. She thinks she's coming all the way out here for no tip. Figure we do something nice for someone for once. Hi. I'm in the forerunner. <laughs> <laughs> My husband would shoot me <laughs> if I was in the carry. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, wait, I know that I didn't tip you at all on the website, oh, but that's because I wanted to tip you in cash in person. So I actually have $200 here for you. Are you kidding me? No. I am paying for a dog boarding to go to Disney World <laughs> in three right. weeks. All right. Thank you. Bet my dog. Sure. Thank you. And so what much. was your name? Kathy. Kathy. I'm Parker. <laughs> thank nice you. to meet you. Yeah. Thank you for coming all the oh way out here. We appreciate gosh. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I am blessed. <laughs> See ya. What a nice lady. All right. Let's go shoot this titanium with a 50 cal. Okay. We have Fred set up at the end of the range here. We have our titanium in front of them. Uh, we're probably 80 yards out right now. We are going to hit him with a standard round of. 50 cal and we'll see how it holds up. Fred, best of luck. Wow. Okay, it's gonna be like that, huh? Dude. Can you set, can you set it back up? Okay, we're back here at the end of the range. We have Fred set up and ready to go. We're gonna hit the titanium with our standard round of 50 and see what it does. Eagle one, this is Ghost Rider requesting clearance to engage. Roger that, green light to Ghost Rider. Hang on, Fred. Fred. You can hear that ding from here. What? I heard a big ping from here. I like can't hear ping. anything. I got like three things of hearing protection in. Oh. It was like ping. What? Forget it. The side window on our uh, Mazda here got broken somehow by, I'm guessing from our bullet, just like uh, breaking apart. Fred's face down and our titanium's face down. 
Not a lot of damage, man. Wow. So we have a decent chunk taken out. It's definitely the biggest so far of penetration and a little bit like more smoke around the outside here, like a little bit of charring. And the force of the 50 just knocked the titanium into Fred's stomach, but it did not penetrate through it. So Fred's stomach's clean. I'm wondering, I was gonna see if that titanium like broke his sternum or anything. Like I think that may have not been there. So he may have got the wind knocked out of him, but he did survive. Let's move up to the silver tip. All right, we're set up down here. We got our silver tip. Let's see what happens. Good luck, Fred. This is a silver tip 50 against a block of titanium. Fred. You didn't hear that? Ping. What? You didn't hear the ping. Ping. I don't know what you're saying. The bullet, when it hits the titanium. I bullet. can't hear you. I just see your mustache here, going. Your Dude, look at this thing, dude. It is black. And look at the penetration that we got. Did not come through the back, but that went deep, dude. That almost went through. Let me get a little twiggy. Maybe an inch? Yeah, about an inch. I guess it like went right here. It like went almost halfway. But uh, I'll be interested to see what that slow-mo looks like. I bet there was a huge flash, but it just charred the whole outside. It uh, took Fred's head off, just the force of it. Again, it didn't penetrate, but it just sent that titanium right into Fred's stomach. And look how far his body flew. How did that, did you do that? What? Did you throw that on there? What? There's a fire hydrant in the windshield of the Mazda. Weird, I don't know. I don't know, maybe it came, maybe Eagle One dropped it or something, I'm not sure. You think an airplane dropped a fire hydrant from the I mean, I can't sky. think of any other explanation for it. Okay, so there's not much happening with his stomach here, but check out this charring on his arm from that silver tip. Yeah, so our titanium block did stop both rounds of 50 cal. Holy cow, dude. Holy cow, dude. That's all we got. We threw everything that we had at this thing and it stopped it. I'm extremely impressed with titanium. The silver tip made it about halfway through, but it could not penetrate all the way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This one was really fun to make. You guys go to yee.com, grab a hat, grab a shirt. It's the best way to support the channel. We don't have ads, um, so it goes a long way to helping Zach and I do this for a living. And- We don't have ads because we don't get any sponsors. What's that? Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. That's a loud one. See you guys in the next one. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Like and sub subscribe, like, leave a comment. Make sure you hit the notification button so that you don't miss. Click the- Dude, just stop. All right, I'm gonna need to see if you can get this returned. With all the bullet holes in it? Yeah, what are we gonna do with this thing? I don't know, but I don't think that they're gonna accept it. Just tell them that is lightly used. Full refund, please. Bulletproof, nothing to lose. I am Dijonium. A ricochet, fire away, fire away. Ricochet, watch out for strays. Get away, I am Titanium. <laughs> Bulletproof.